Hey guys, it's Tihi here and I'm showing you guys another program that I wrote to help simplify um, making styles, um, style macros for uh, AHK. It works for Live or Phoenix. It's pretty simple. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into it. Um, so right here's the program, Tihi's Dayox Simple Style Macro Maker. Fabulous name, I know. So what you'll do is you'll select, do you want to do reactional styles or do you want to do positional styles? Um, so first off, I'm on my infiltrators. So I'm going to make some positional styles. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with that. So activation key, um, this is the key that when you push it, you, it's going to launch this sequence. So for simplicity's sake, I'm going to push one because I'm going to use number one key to activate it. So we're going to go into the game and set our anytime and our anytime follow-up. <clears throat> so for the infiltrator, our anytime is going to be Garot, and the anytime follow-up is going to be Achilles heel. So we're going to go to our styles, critical strike. Achilles or Groat, <clears throat> and I'm going to put that back here on bar 10 and then Achilles heel in there. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cubine these keys. So cubine 10, 1, 1. I'm going to just make it F1 and then Achilles heel will be F2. So we go back to our program. Anytime's F1, anytime follow up F2. Now then our positional style, the first positional style I'm going to add is going to be the frontal uh, 50 dual wield style that adds the bleed. So we'll go back into the game, dual wield, dual shadows, we're going to put it on 3 and we're going to Q-bind it. So 10, 3, 1, and we're going to bind that to F3. And for positional style, F3. Now, <clears throat> there are no other follow-ups to this style, so you just leave these blank. You'll click generate, and it gives you the code to put into your script. So we will right-click, copy it and we'll put it into our script. This is my new script.hk. So file, save, then we will launch the script. So now when we're in game and we push one, if we are in front of the dummy, it will fire dual shadows, as you can see, dual garrote. If we are behind the person, we will perform garrote. If we tap it again, it's going to form Achilles heel. If we go to the front, it's dual shadows, dual shadows, dual shadows. The target moves right aside. It's going to fire Garot, then Achilles heel. So, as you can see, pretty simple. So, we just bound three styles to essentially one key. So, let's take it a little bit further. Now, we're going to do, we're going to add our side chain in. So, our anytime's F1 and F2, so we're gonna leave any anytime. For this one, we're gonna do activation, we're gonna put key two. So F1 for the Garot, F2 for Achilles heel, and then we need to put our styles on the bar and cubine them, so we're gonna do flank. So cubine that one, 10, four, one, and we're gonna bind that to F5. Oh. We'll bind that to F6. And then Flank's follow-up is Shadow's Rain. And we'll bind that one to F7. So we added F6 and F7 for Flank and its uh, follow-up. I don't think there's another one that goes off of that. Nope. All right, so we'll go back to our program. Positional 1 is going to be F6. Positional follow-up is F7. Click Generate. It's gave us our new code. We will copy this, toss it into our script. So now when we push one, it's going to do uh, dual shadows if we're in front, or Garot Achilles heel chain if not. Our two is going to do the side chain if we're at the side, or the frontal chain, or Garot and Achilles heel at the front. So we'll click save. We will relaunch our script. And then we'll go into the game. So if we're in front, we push two. So there's Garot, two again, Achilles heel. We're at the side, there's flank. There's flank's follow up. The target's moving. So we whiffed. We missed again. There's flank. There's the follow up. The target's moving. We're in front, there's Garot, there's Achilles heel. So there's four styles with one key. So basically that's all there is to it. Um, you can use any keys you want. Like let's say we want the T key to activate this sequence. 
we'll just click generate we'll click copy and I'm just gonna replace this one click save so now when we push the T key oh, hold on, I gotta reactivate the script so that it takes the changes all right so now when we push T it's gonna perform Groot Achilles heel if we're at the side of it it's gonna be flank and then shadows rain Blank, Shadows Rain, Garut, Achilles Heel. So that's all there is to it. Um, like I said, uh, it's set up so that you can use up to a three chain anytime and a four chain positional. The same goes for reactionals. I can't really show a reactional on the dummy, but it's the exact same sequence. Um, you just need to bind the keys. I do recommend um, binding. When you bind your keys, bind them to things like F1 through F12, insert, delete, home, end, non-numbers or letters, because whenever you're typing, like, okay, I'm typing in guild, and T is my command to send those. When I push T, it's going to send all of those letters. So if I did, for example, anytime one, oh, hold on, i got to stop the script. So we did anytime one. Anytime follow up to four, five, six, T is the generate key. So if I copy this and put it into the script, if I'm typing, whoop, run. So if you do numbers, this is what it's going to look like when you go to type. When you say, hi, Tim, it's going to send six, five, four, three, two, one. Whereas if you use the function keys, F1 through F12, um, or insert, delete, home, end, page up, those kind of keys, it's not going to send any of that. It'll just say, hi, T, and then it may add spaces, but it won't like send 654321 like that. So that would be my recommendations. Um, but that's all there is to it. Uh, this is a work in progress. Uh, I just wrote it the other day, so I am still making changes to it. Like I said, you can find it in the Discord server or on my website.